Good evening once again, everybody. I don't know what happened to the other video. I mean, I was in there because I had went in the kitchen. This is a continuation of the other video that I had, you know, when I was talking about the microwave. Um, and then I went into the kitchen because I was making cookies. And I don't know what happened because I was going to let y'all uh, follow along with me while I was making the cookies. And... Suddenly, I looked down and, uh, let me take these glasses off. I'm getting a glare from the computer, I guess. All of a sudden, I look around and, and I look at my um, uh, screen on my um, my phone and there's it's not recording. And so, I can't tell you exactly when it stopped recording. I think it stopped right when I went into the kitchen when I was trying to adjust it, you know, so that you could see what I was um when, to see that I was making the peanut butter cookies. But anyway, I, I just went ahead, and when I discovered it, I just went ahead, finished the cookies, which they came out, yeah, okay, they taste okay, about good as the other ones I made. And about the microwave, let me finish telling you about the microwave. I called Google, I mean, not called Google, <laughs> my phone, my thing is not even, oh, there it is, I think that's a little better, I'm not sure, y'all, I ain't been up here in so long, I forgot how to do it, y'all, <sighs> but it's good to be back, um, what was I getting ready to say, oh, um, when, when the, um, now it's gone again, hello, wake up, anybody home up here, I don't know if anybody's home, but anyway, when I got through making the other video, I think it had just, you know, I had just, it, the phone had just went out, I mean, off. I don't, I don't know how it did it by itself because I didn't touch it. Once I adjusted it, I did not touch it anymore. I thought I was just recording right along, you know, mixing and mixing the, you know, the peanut butter. I got the bowl up here so y'all could see the best I could. But anyway, I went ahead and baked the, and I baked the cookies. They came out pretty good. As a matter of fact, I ate two. But I'm not going to eat any more because I don't want to mess with, you know, my blood, blood sugar. And my granddaughter finally called me back. Oh, let me tell you, it's so much to tell. This microwave, like I said, this microwave does not work. It, it comes on like it's going to work. The timer is running along like it usually do. And I'm saying maybe it's something else. Maybe there's a button or something that I should push. But anyway, I, I ain't seen no button, so hey. I'm going to buy me a new microwave tomorrow if the, if my granddaughter comes by. But she called me back. She called me, finally called me back. She had gotten off work. And uh, she said that she had to take the children to the dentist tomorrow again. Well, the, the twins this time. And so she, they've got to go to the dentist. And so she asked me would I sit with them while, um, you know, she went to the dentist. And I told her I would. And then after the dentist, we're supposed to go over to Walmart again and buy another microwave. I'm thinking maybe I should go to Target or something. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Maybe I should switch it up because microwave. You know, because when I first moved here, allow me to tell you that when I first moved here, I already had a microwave now. I had a microwave. Then I went and bought another white microwave. That microwave, that's why I was trying to find that other, you know, book to see exactly when I had bought that, you know, first microwave. Because uh, when I first moved here, I had a microwave. I think my daughter had, my daughter had given it to me, and it lasted a long time. And it was, uh, I forgot the name, what the name brand was. But it was a white one. It was a white microwave. Because when I moved here, I had that microwave already. And I don't remember buying another microwave for at least a year or so before I moved in here. So I'm beginning to wonder if there is something wrong or something going on with these microwaves that I'm buying from Walmart. So I don't know. I, I, I may go to... Um, uh, what's the name of the store? Target. I may go to Target tomorrow. I know Target's a little more expensive. You know, and I thought about Amazon. I said, now, if I order from Amazon and then something, you know, ain't going right and I got to pack this bad boy up and send it back. But I want an instant one. But nevertheless, let me finish telling you the whole story. 
I talked to Google once again. I called Google. I said, Google, I said, can you pop microwave popcorn on top of the stove? And Google said, yeah, sure you can. <laughs> well, I said to myself, I should be able to, but you know what? I had never tried it before. And so I got me, and Google told me to get a pot, you know, you get a pot that's, that's uh, big enough to hold that microwave popcorn, because, you know, popcorn is pretty. So I got a two-quart, I think it was two-quart uh, saucepan. And, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I'll show you the pot that I use. I'll tell you, there's more than one way to skin a cat, y'all. Don't you know? Don't you know? This is the pot that I use. It's a two-quarter to do my my popcorn. My, this is, I'll show you some of the popcorn. I didn't eat it all. See? That's my microwave popcorn. And this is the culprit. This is the the criminal right here. Well, I wouldn't say it's a criminal, but I certainly would say it's a crook. You're a crook. And um, let me show you the type of my, uh, I got some more micro, I got some more popcorn in my, see, this is the one, this is the butter one, I think it's a butter, I, I don't know, I got a box in my, in my bedroom, because it's a big box I had ordered from Amazon, but it's pop secret, and you just take that, tear it open, throw the whole thing right in a pot, you don't have to add no grease or nothing like that to it, but I'll tell you a little, another little secret, seems like when it was in the microwave, it tastes just a little bit better. But, let me add something else. More kernels popped when I put it on top of the stove. Because sometimes when I do it in the microwave, there's a lot of kernels at the bottom. You know, unpopped popcorn at the, bottom of the at the bottom of the bag. But, in this, when I did it on top of the stove, not so much. Not so much. And... I think I'm going to start buying me some popcorn, y'all. You know, that I have to put in a pot instead of that microwave stuff. Probably better for you because, you know, you add your own, you can add your own salt, your own butter, you know, limited or whatever. Which, you know, but, but microwave popcorn is just so easy and I've been doing it for so many years. So, we'll see what happens with the microwave tomorrow. I don't want to pay no more than about $59, $60. Or a microwave. You know? And I don't even know if they have a red one at uh, Target. I don't even know. Which I don't have to have red. I can go white. Or the silver. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting away from the red appliances. And it. But even though, you know, a lot of stuff I bought for my kitchen is red. But at this point, I don't care what color it is. It could be silver. It could be black. White. I don't want no blue one, you know, that, that nostalgia one, they call it, that, you know, that one back in the, way back in the day, Michael, I don't know what they call it, I think it's the color that they're calling it, that's why they're calling it nostalgia, and, um, here's my half a recipe, I had to figure, you know, figure out how to half, half a recipe, which I had done that before, I made the half a recipe before, but you know what? The one egg didn't really make that much of a difference. Because the whole, you know, when I made the whole recipe, it calls for only one egg. And then when I made the half a recipe, I'm like, how are you going to half them? You know, take one half an, half an egg. So I said, I'm going to throw the whole egg, whole egg in here. But before, I let some of the egg out when I made the cookies. Still came out all right. Cookies still came out all right. You know, you experiment. And so this time, I just said, well, hey, I ain't going through all that. I'm just going to use a whole egg. And that's what I did. Cookies came out pretty good, y'all. Matter of fact, that satisfied my sweet tooth. But I, I just had to call you. I just had to get back on here again to let y'all know what went down. You know, why the, um, why the, um, uh, I can't even think straight. I think I need a nap. <laughs> why, why the uh, video had cut short before. 
And I hadn't been up here, you know, for, I think it's been about, about, is this the fourth day or the fifth day? It's been a while since I've been up here to make a video. It really has. But anyway, I'm making a video today, and all is well. And I don't have that many dishes except, you know, the, uh, that, I didn't mess up that many dishes really when I was cooking the, um, uh, when I was baking the cookies. Only thing I got is the bowl. And, um, I don't have a cookie sheet. And so I, I use this old burnt out pizza pan, you know, the big round pizza pans, but you use the pizza pan so much it turns a color or whatever. And so what I did, I just put, um. Uh, uh, aluminum foil. On oh, shucks. What the heck? Oh, that's my fire stick. I just put aluminum foil on top of it. You know, smoothed it out inside the uh, pan and baked the cookies. That's what I did. I put them in the uh, freezer for a little while just to stiffen them up, you know, so I could cut them. Instead, I, I saw a lady on there. She was taking her little cookies and she was rolling them in a ball. And I said, not I, I said the rat. So I just refrigerated them for, you can refrigerate them or you can put them in the freezer. But because my, my stove had already preheated, I threw them in the, in the freezer part, you know. But you can put them in the refrigerator part until they get a little stiff. So you can work with them better, you know, you can cut them. And just fork, you know, print fork, you know, any way you want to when you when you get them. Even though they're not going to be that round, mine are all different sizes and shapes. Which, I mean, the taste is the same. Trust me on this. It tastes the same as if they were round, you know. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> Don't taste no different. But anyway, I'm going to say, I'm going to get ready to close the video. And I certainly did miss coming up here. But I'm back, y'all. Baby, I'm back. Yes, I am. And I'm happy to be here. Yes, I am. You'll be seeing a lot more of me this week than you did last week. Trust me on this one. Trust and believe. I go with love. See you later.